car, the preliminary investigation found all three floors of the garage partially or completely collapsed. City officials are now looking at the weight of the cars on each floor and how they may have compromised the almost 100-year-old building. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett joins us from the scene in the financial district with the latest. NJ. And right, Shirlene, experts say the cause of the collapse will be found in the ruins of the three-story parking garage, where, yes, demolitions teams have been working here since yesterday, removing those 90 cars one by one, lifting them from the debris so that it building can ultimately be demolished. Now, late yesterday, they finally reached the remains, as you heard, of Willis Moore. He was the 59-year-old parking garage manager. He was the only person to have died in the collapse. Five other parking attendants were injured. All have since been released from the hospital. As for the cause, so many are speculating on it now. Authorities continue to believe that the weight of all of those cars on the 98-year-old building did eventually cause it to crack and to collapse on itself, but they will not know for sure until they can get in and examine the wreckage. The Sheriff's Department has six vehicles in the garage. One of their deputies, in fact, missed the collapse by about 20 minutes. I spoke with Sheriff Anthony Miranda, who told me there will be multiple investigations. Close call for one of your guys, huh? Close call for many people. It's not something that anybody anticipated, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions after the fact. And again, the cause has yet to be determined, although speculation is, as I said a moment ago, that the weight of all of those cars on a 98-year-old building uh, is likely what caused the collapse. Again, they've got to get in there. Uh, at the very least, it contributed to the, to the cause if it did not, in fact, cause the collapse. We're going to continue to follow this developing story. Much more for you on Eyewitness News at 4 o'clock this afternoon. For now, we're live in Lower Manhattan. NJ Burke at Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, NJ. We've been looking at dramatic video from the sky news copter seven pictures they're just really amazing to look at and as NJ just told us the area around the garage is going to be a mess for days as the painstaking process of removing the cars and taking down what's left of the building continue now we'll go to John Del Giorno he's in news copter seven with the bird's eye view of the progress so far the process of removing these vehicles one by one from the parking garage is going to be long and slow the cars could be filled with gasoline there could be electric vehicles involved We've been told there's up to 90 cars inside this parking garage, 50 of them up on the roof, and they all must be removed one by one. The streets down here so small and narrow, and the danger of the operation requires that fire department and EMS stage nearby just in case of an accident. So there's additional street closures. Ann Street is closed, but also William Street and Nassau Street closed until further notice. Report